Now, the president's media aide, Gaur Brashe, was joining us via Skype for more on this development. Uh, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Help us understand better uh, the engagement of the president in this summit in Russia. Well, uh, thank you for inviting us. Uh, it's an important one, as you said, that this is the first the Russians are organizing this summit. Other big economies of the world are doing this. The Chinese are engaging the African Union. The Japanese are doing it. The Indians are doing it. So yes, the Russians have come with their own. It is important that this is uniquely different because uh, it seeks the kind of partnership that will focus not only on economy, but also on security. Uh, hopefully, at the end of this summit, there will be proposal for a regional security architecture for Africa that would uh, seek to protect our cities, that would seek to, to, glee, to learn from the Russian experience in securing our borders against importation of illegal explosives, smuggling, drugs, and the smuggling of weapons. So uh, there will be a lot of focus not only on trade, but also on matters of security and development. Well, there has been latest, recently there's been international interest on the African continent. You mentioned Japan and India and earlier. China has also shown uh, some great interest in the African continent. How do we engage in summits like this such that our country is not exploited uh, because Russia already made its interest known that this is for economic interest. Uh, what are the scope of engagements in those regards? Well, uh, the important thing is that uh, nations of Africa must uh, also be able to articulate their own needs, their own interests, so that at the end of it, it will be a win-win you know, situation for each one. They gain from it. And we also gain from it. But there's no doubt about it that we need investment in infrastructure, power, railway. Don't forget our own Ajaokuta. Nigeria would seek possibilities of having the Russians come back if they want and do Ajaokuta for us because we have wasted so much money. We have trained so many people who are doing nothing. And the infrastructure is just lying fallow. Yes, they are legal disputes over there but uh, we think that these are not insurmountable well you made mention earlier the possibility of engaging in talks as regards security how is nigeria looking forward to strike a deal with russia bearing in mind its own uh, diplomatic relations with the united states well it's a big uh, issue but uh, for each nation your international relations are dictated by your own national interest and uh, come to think of it, the journey with the Russians had been a long one. They were with us when we fought the Nigerian civil war. They stood with Nigeria at a time when some of our traditional allies and friends had walked away from us. The Russians are standing with us in fighting the insurgency in the procurement and supply of military hardware. We're expecting that there will be a lot that will be a lot that will be achieved in this discussion between our two leaders. Presidential media aide Gav Rachel joined us live from Sochi. Thank you for uh, sharing more light on this development for us.